this is going to be a short, sweet, and to the point video outlining the major option updates in Iceborne. Pay attention because there are some seriously significant changes in quality of life improvements. First and foremost, choose your silhouette settings. As you can see, when a monster or obstacle is obstructing your view, this could be really helpful to locate your hunter. Next, set up exactly how you want your HUD to look. You can't change the location of the items, but turning specific pieces on or off is amazing. No longer will damage taken was reduced. Plague your screen. I'm not sure if this is new to be honest, but you can remove the scout fly tracking, which should help with the neck snapping that is still present in the beta. Come on Capcom. There is a new option for the item control menu, which allows you to use the radio menu with the classic item select and camera options. The chat got an overhaul and now is a bit larger and easier to maneuver. Not that I ever really used it, but perhaps this will actually promote it for me. There are new colorblind settings which really should have been in since the beginning, so it's great to see these added. Also, notice the purple sharpness. Finally, there's view mode, a new addition that I'm sure will get plenty of use. You can't move while this is in use, and the game doesn't stop, so use it at your own risk during a hunt. The left stick controls the camera movement, the right stick controls the rotation. D-pad is used for height changes, L2 zooms out while R2 zooms in. L1 will reset the camera to center in front of your character. Square will bring up the pose menu, and triangle brings up the gestures. Press the touchpad to remove the HUD once you're satisfied. And that's all for now. Expect these and many more quality of life changes when Iceborne releases in September. Until next time, happy hunting.